Hey dear guys, welcome back. Let's see the TCS coding questions of 2021. Day 1 slot 1. So this is the question. There is a jar full of candies for sale at a mall counter. Jar has the capacity of N. The maximum candies jar can contain is N. At any point of time, jar can have m number of candies where m is less than or equal to n. Alright. Candies are served to the customers in such a way that jar is never remain empty as when last k candies are left, jar is filled with new candies in such a way that jar get full. Write the code to implement above scenario. Display jar at counter with available number of candies. Input should be the number of candies one customer can order at a point of time and update the jar after each purchase and display jar at counter. Okay. Output should give number of candies sold and updated number of candies in jar. Okay, so our output should be output given number of candies sold means candy sold at a time and updated candies in jar so updated candies means candies available so if input is more than candies in jar then return invalid input and here given is n equal to 10 means maximum number of candies jar can contain is 10 so we can't put more than 10 candies in the jar okay k is smaller than or equal to 5 where k is minimum number of candies that must be inside jar ever so if our candies is less than 5 we have to fill the jar okay if the input is 3 number of candies sold is 3 and number of candies available is 7 okay because we have total 10 candies and the left candies are greater than 5 if input is 0 then we have to print invalid input and the number of candies left is 10 okay so here we have three cases if our candies sold is 0 then we have to print invalid input if our candy sold is less than k then we have to update the candies in jar okay suppose if candy sold is 7 so we are left with 3 candies in jar so k is less than 5 so we have to update the jar so in that case our available candies will be 10 and if our candies is greater than or equal to k then we have to simply print the sold values and the candies available in the jar okay so let's write the code here i have class candies jar and i'll create a method static void candies detail and i'll pass here int variable that is int sold the number of candies sold okay and int n equal to 10 and int k equal to 5 so according to first case if sold value is equal to 0 then we have invalid input so if sold equal to 0 then system.out.println invalid input and system.out.println number of candies available is n so number of candies available plus n else if sold is less than k if we have sold value less than k then we have to simply print the sold value and the remaining candies so system.out.println number of candies sold 
plus sold and system.out.println number of candies available and minus sold that is 10 minus sold for example if we have sold equal to 3 so 3 is less than k so we can have 7 candies in the jar if we have sold candies 3 then in that case our k value will be k value means the remaining candies okay so see this k is the minimum number of candies that must be in the jar ever so we have the minimum number of candies 5 and here our candies are 7 so that is legal okay that is accepted so in that case we don't have to put more candies in the jar and else if sold is greater than or equal to k so suppose if we have sold value equal to 7 so in that case our minimum candies left will be 3 so 3 is less than 5 so we have to put more candies in the jar okay so we have to update the candies available to 10 so else if sold greater than or equal to k then we'll print number of candies sold is sold and number of candies available n okay now let's write the driver code scanner sc equal to new scanner system.in and I'll call the method candies detail sc.nextint and import java.util.scanner now let's compile the code java c candies jar dot java okay so file is compiled successfully now let's run java candies jar and let's input 3 number of candies sold is 3 and number of candies available 7 let's run again for let's say 0 invalid input okay and number of candies available is 10 okay so we are getting the desired result so that's it for this video we'll see more problems in the further videos thank you